Hello good people and welcome back to a math video. This time we're talking about statistics. This is video number two in this series and today we're going to be talking about median. Let's get started. Our previous video talked about mean and in that video we said that mean is the average of a data set and we find that by adding all of the numbers in the data set up and then dividing by the number of items that are in the set. And this gives us sort of a middle number, or a number that has what we might call central tendency, being tending toward the center. Median is another measure of central tendency, and median is the middle number. So, if you got a couple friends and you line them all up and there's one person in the middle, that person is the median. So let's take a look at how this plays out in a few different data sets. All right, here's my first data set. Pretty small numbers. The number 3, the number 6, the number 4, the number 1, and the number 2. So we want to find the middle number, that median number. So the first thing that we're going to do is rewrite the numbers, and we're going to write them in order. So the lowest number I see is the number 1. The next lowest number I see is the number 2. The next lowest number I see is the number 3. The next lowest number I see is the number 4. And the last number is the number 6. So now I've written these numbers in order, and sometimes it's very simple to see what the middle number will be. And in this case it is. The middle number is 3. So the median is 3. Now let me talk about, before we move on, why it's sort of easy in this one. Well, in this data set, there are an odd number of items. So there are five items in here. And whenever you have a data set where there are an odd number of items, there's going to always be one very clear middle number. Now, because this data set was small, it might have been pretty easy for you to see the three straight off the bat. But if we have a data set that's longer, it can be harder to instantly see what the middle number is. So in that case, I recommend crossing off from the outsides. I'll show you what I mean. So the first thing I would do is cross off this number 1 and then the number 6. And I cross those out first because those are my outside numbers. Then I'll work in from there. Cross off the 2, cross off the 4. And I'm left with just the 3. So that process of starting on the outside and crossing off your two outer numbers and then working your way inside very carefully will always lead you to the median if the data set has an odd number of items. But that isn't always the case, of course, and we'll get to that very soon. Let's try another example. Number two. Here's another data set. So it's 13, 17, 9, 6, 21, 24, and 18. So the first thing that we're going to do is rewrite the data set in order. So I'm going to start with the lowest number, which is the 6. I'll do a gentle cross off to make sure I've covered everything. The next I see is number 9. The next I see is number 13. Number 17. The number 18. The number 21. And then finally, the number 24. Now, this data set has an odd number of items again. So we can practice that technique of starting from the outside. So I'll cross off the 6 and the 24, then the 9 and the 21, then the 13 and the 18, leaving me with a very clear middle number, the 17. So the 17 is our median, or middle number. So... Our next data set is going to have an even number of items, and you're going to see something that we have to do that's a little different. Here we are, number three. All right, here's the data set, the number two, the number seven, the number four, eight, one, and then number two again. So just like in the other examples, we'll begin by rewriting these numbers in order, and I'll cross them off as I go so I don't miss any. I'll start out with the number one, then the number two, then the other number two, then the number four, then the number seven, and lastly the number eight. And again, I'll suggest that we use the technique of 
crossing out the numbers beginning with the very outermost numbers. So I'll cross out the 1 and the 8, the 2 and the 7. Now I'm going to suggest that we stop there. And the reason we're going to stop there is we're left with just two numbers here in the middle. We're left with the 2 and the 4. So there is not a clear middle number here. And when this happens, you need to do one more step. And that step that you need to do is you need to take those two numbers and you need to find the mean of them. So the mean we covered in our previous video. So to find the mean, step one is to add them up. So I'm going to add 4 plus 2, and that is 6. And the second part in finding the mean is to divide your total by the number of items in the set. And there are two items in the set. Remember, we have a 4 and a 2. So I'm going to take the 6, divide it by 2, and I get 3. So in this problem, the median is 3. Now that might be a little weird because you don't even see a 3 in the data set. But this sometimes happens in a data set. And it always is going to happen if you have an even number of items in your data set. Let's try one more. All right, here's my data set. The number 20, 14, 16, 22, 23, and 17. And as with the others, the first step is going to be to rewrite this data set in order. So 14, then 16, then 17, then 20, then 22, and lastly, 23. So now that I have my data set in order, I'll suggest again, starting from the outside and crossing off, working your way to the center, cross off the 14 and the 23, the 16 and the 22, and then you are left with two numbers, 17 and 20. So because we have these two numbers that are in the middle, we need to find the mean of those two numbers. So again, we'll add them up, 20, plus 17 is 37, and then I will divide that 37 by the number of items in my set, and, and by set, again, sorry to clarify, again, I'm not talking this entire set, I'm talking about only the set that I'm working on right now to find the mean, and that's just two numbers. So two goes into three one time, subtract, and there'll be one left over, bring down the 17, two goes into 17, eight times, and there'll be one left over. I can add my decimal point here, add in a zero, bring that zero down. Two goes into 10 five times. And so then I'm gonna finish off with 18 and 5 tenths as my median. And again, I know that that isn't shown. All right, a little recap. So median is the middle number. We find the middle number by rewriting in order. So we're going to rewrite in order. If you are lucky and there is an odd number of items in your data set, you can just cross off on the outside and you will be left with that one that's in the center. However, if there is an even number of data items, in the set, you can do your cross off like this, but when you're done, there's going to be those two items here. And we're gonna to have to take those two items and find the mean of those two. All right, that's it. So that's median, folks. Hope that helps. You can watch the video a couple times. We'll talk to you soon.